Hey, Brian, what you got there? This is a hoverboard powered by a leaf blower. What? That's crazy. I know, a leaf blower hoverboard. It's okay. fantastic. So tell me, how does it work? It's a real simple construction. We took some plywood, a half, uh, half inch plywood, uh, about four foot square, cut it into a circle, drill a hole right in the middle, cut a spot out for the attachment for the leaf blower. Uh, we took the mulching attachment, and we actually used that to fit right into here, and we glued that in place, and so now we can just literally click this leaf blower right into... Oh, that's brilliant. Look at that. It's like the leaf blower. Uh, the hoverboard is actually an attachment. That's so cool. It's fantastic. Love it. You don't have to use the attachment. Some people use PVC pipe. Cool. Did you hot glue that? We actually did. On this side, you wrap it with plastic. Tape really? it down on this side nice and close to the edge because you don't want any bubbling. This bolt here is actually to hold on a plastic lid that goes here to hold this plastic down. The reason you want to do that is because you put this plastic on there and when you, the hole that we cut the leaf for, the, the air is going to blow through this hole and it's going to fill up this plastic. And it's going to make a nice, uh, it would make a dome if we didn't have the plastic lid on there. When you put the plastic lid on there, it makes it more of a donut shaped. So what happens is the air fills up the donut, and then right along here, it's kind of hard to see, but we've cut holes out along the edges. Air comes in, fills up the donut, and the only place the air can go is out these holes, which when this is on the ground, and the only place for that air to go is underneath the donut, and that's the air you ride on when you're riding the hover. Uh, we added a little bit of foam rubber around the end. It's just foam pipe insulation. Oh, brilliant. This does a couple things. Uh, this is actually acts as a braking mechanism. So when this is inflated, you're coasting around. But whenever you shut, because you have no brakes and no steering on this. Very so important. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, but when you, when you want to end the ride, the kids can just power it down, and it will deflate. And if you don't have the foam, the, you're braking and you're stopping, and this is rubbing on the ground. The only thing we changed on this, uh, back to that, you want a low profile here. We didn't have to... Um, use a Dremel tool on the attachment. I and mean, you can kind of see we dremeled off a little bit of the edge there because there was like a, like a little lip on here. We wanted the bottom lip, but we didn't need it higher. Oh, just to get it nice and smooth right yeah, there. Yeah, so we wanted it nice and smooth because that's what you want. You, don't want as, you want as little as possible exposed on the bottom side. So what kind of games you played with it? Oh, we play all kinds of fun games. You can do human bowling. You can just honestly just pushing kids around the gym is a blast. We use the leaf blower, the attachment, it clicks right in. So it's real easy, attach it. Dude, cool. Lay it right down, and you are, when you're gonna sit on it, you wanna keep your bottom as close to the middle as possible, put one foot on each side, and you are ready to ride. Dude, that's awesome.